Also getting a look at some of the victims of the school shooting in Nashville. A total of six people losing their lives. Yeah, that's right. And three of them just nine years old. All of the others were staff members in their 60s. Fox 35's Jonathan Hunt has the very latest on the investigation and what the president is saying about the shooting. Three children. Three children dead. All just nine years old, including the daughter of the pastor. Three members of the staff, school custodian, substitute teacher, and the head of school. President Joe Biden called it a family's worst nightmare after three children and three adults were gunned down inside a private Nashville elementary school Monday. Police say the shooter, a 28-year-old former student, meticulously planned the attack, legally purchasing seven firearms, including the two assault rifles and one handgun used in the shooting. As a nation, we owe these families more than our prayers. We owe them action. Now the president is calling on Congress to do more and to pass an assault rifle ban, a request Democrats echoed on Capitol Hill Tuesday, even as Republicans accuse them and the president of trying to politicize the shooting. To think that some people rationalize this as part of the Second Amendment is beyond me. And if you had an assault weapons ban, I wouldn't vote for it, but bring it up if you think that's the fix. As lawmakers debate, Nashville police are searching for a motive. On Tuesday afternoon, investigators revealed the shooter was under the care of a doctor to treat an undisclosed emotional disorder. The suspect reportedly hid multiple guns from their parents, who thought the shooter had sold the only weapon they knew of. But her parents felt that she uh, should not own weapons. Nashville police also say that while the shooter targeted the school, victims were chosen at random. Jonathan Hunt, Fox News.